peace in our hearts, it will cause us to turn away from God. Yeah. Unbelief is designed to push us away from God. So when circumstances arise, if I'm dominated by unbelief, instead of seeking answers from God, I'm going elsewhere. Yeah. Because unbelief turns me away from God. Unbelief is defined as disbelief. Yep. It is refusal yep. to believe. Yep. Now listen at this from the Amplified. I love the Amplified Bible. In yes, Lord. It says, therefore beware, brethren, take care, lest there be in any one of you a wicked, unbelieving heart, watch this, which refuses mm -hmm. to cleave to, trust in, and rely on him. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Leading you to turn away and desert. You, you become a deserter. You, you ever seen an army deserter? Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking yeah. about here. You desert God. You, you, you now run away from God. Or stand aloof, which means afar off, from the living God. Yeah, the devil wants you to. Yep. That's exactly right. The devil wants you to stand off. He wants you to desert God. He orchestrates circumstances yes, in your yes, life yes, that will cause you yep. to have to choose to, choose to, to, to either seek God or seek other places. Mm -hmm. Now, it's according to what's influencing you whether or not you choose God or not. Mm -hmm. What is the, dominate, what, what, what is the domi dominating influence in your life? Mm -hmm. yeah, now, each person has to examine himself. I can't tell you. I don't know what you do all day. Yeah. You have to examine yourself. And you need to examine yourself on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. So you be prepared for every situation. Yeah. Alright, the Bible defines unbelief as refusal to believe. Now watch this. To refuse is defined as to decline to do something, to decline to grant something, to decline to give something, or to decline to accept something. Mm -hmm. I, I read that again. Uh -huh. To refuse is defined as to decline, right. meaning that you're not going to do it. To do something, right. to decline, to grant something, right. to decline, to give something, to decline, to accept something. Mm -hmm. To refuse is to reject, to deny, mm -hmm. or to decline mm -hmm. what is offered. Offered. Yes. Wow. When we have unbelief toward God, we are refusing and declining to accept what he's offering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has the answer for your situation. Mm -hmm. So when you choose to operate in unbelief, you are choosing to decline to accept what he's offering. Mm -hmm. A good example is people every day is declining his offer of righteousness. Free gift. Yeah. But mm -hmm. people are declining yeah. every day. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is unbelief. Yeah. People have people believe that there's other ways to get to the Father than Jesus. Okay. And when you have influential people on television saying that people yes, are following them. Yep, mm -hmm. they are. That's why it's so important that you and I get out from these four walls mm -hmm. and go out and tell the people that Jesus Amen. is the only one. Right. And do it boldly. Yeah. Don't back down. Amen. Because these other people are not backing down. No, they're not. They will even fight you physically if they have to. The other, the other religion. Yeah. I had one guy in, in the Jehovah in, in the Jehovah Witness yeah. belief <laughs> that I didn't know it at the time. We were uh, this lady was dying of cancer, mm -hmm. so Flo and I went over there to speak mm -hmm. healing to her. But she even went to Benny Hinn, and I'm gonna tell you something. The trip to Benny Hinn made her worse mm -hmm. than she was because the same healing power. Uh -huh. That's that Benny Hinn's meeting right here. Right here. Right here. All right. The All right. same healing power that that Keith Moore Church. Right. The same right. God. Yes, same God. God. Yes, same God. 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 God has it. Oh, yes. No, I'm not going to go with Faith International. I'm going to stay over here with Faith Life. I'm going to be over here with Benny Hinn. But you have to believe that the same God. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Right. So that trip kind of wore her out. Right. So, yes. so when we found yes. out, we went to her house, my wife and I, we went to speak healing yes. to her. And her, her, her cousin was a Jehovah Witness. First off, he went to coming against us, mm -hmm. the, the Christian wall. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm quoting scripture at him. I'm 
Yep. Reading them down with scripture. Yep. <laughs> I them down with scripture. <laughs> but I didn't know at the time when I saw him later, but she did end up dying. When I saw him later, he told me that he became so angry with me that he was he almost hit me. Uh, and I didn't even know. Oh, and oh, and the oh, anger oh, came because of his belief. That's right. He was, you know, he was adamant about what he believed. Yeah. And so was I. Right. And that's what we have to be. We have to be adamant about what we believe. We have to go out there and be asked. People are dying every day. That's right. I'm not talking about just physically dying. They're dying in Christ every day. They're dying because they don't know Jesus. Amen. Circumstances are, are destroying their lives. They're living under the curse yep. because they don't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's our job. It's our job. Whether it's your neighbor, your family, that's your mission field. Right, right, right. Your, what, your, your next door neighbor could be your mission field. Oh, yes. Your family member could be your mission field. Yes. You, we need to get out there and tell people about God because there's so many other, so much other information telling them that they can get to God any other way. And we have Christians that get on television and make interviews and downplay the Word of God. Mm -hmm. they, they, they try to balance it out with Muslim and Jehovah Witnesses. You can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. They say, well, what makes your Bible authority? What makes our Bible the authority is because it was written by God. Amen. God is the authority. Amen. That's the bottom line. He's the authority. You either believe him or you don't. That's right. But you but you got people trying to water it down because they don't they don't want to um, offend other religions. Mm -hmm. But those other religions don't yeah. care about offending us. Right. Right. So it's time now for us to step up to the plate. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Good. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, to refuse something is a 